a little bit of background. Well, of course, uh, hi, my name is Roger Clark. I did the full performance capture for Arthur Morgan and Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm so thrilled to be here. Uh, we're lucky enough to be able to come to cons like this and meet the fans and have a chat. And the fact that you know, I was pretty much a no name actor before Red Dead came out, I was just doing theater in New York, doing a lot of voiceover. And to be part of something that's appreciated by so many people and to be able to chat to the fans is such a gift, you know. And we had a year, we had a crazy year. And to, see, to, see, to meet people and like minded nerds again is just an easy walk. Great to have you here chatting, I guess, about. Red Dead. So beforehand, were you familiar with Rockstar Games? How did you end up getting the role and playing this awesome cowboy? Yeah, I was a huge fan of Rockstar Games. I remember the first Grand Theft Auto. Like, you're looking down. Yeah, I was remember playing that on the first PlayStation. So I was a massive fan of Rockstar Games. And then when I graduated college, I took a break from gaming. You know, I just didn't have the time. But I got back into it with the Xbox 360, and I remember going to GameStop, and it had been a while since I played games, so I was like, what do you recommend? And they said, well, what do you like? He said, I like story-based, kind of open sandbox games, you know? And he recommended Skyrim, and he recommended the first Red Dead Redemption. And those were pretty good. Oh, yeah. I remember playing the first Red Dead, and it was just through pure chance. I finished it, and then about a month or two later, it was my first audition for Red Dead 2. I didn't know this for Red Dead 2, but... Amazing. So you not only did you actually did motion capture. Tell us a little bit about what it was like preparing for that, and then the So it's like it's like anti circus with Planet of the Apes. So you see a lot of them in Buffalo and the Avengers and stuff. So you're wearing all the spandex, and you've got balls, and it's 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 in a hangar, pretty similar to this. You know, there's no cameras, there's no real cameras. But virtually, they're they're anywhere you want them to be. So yeah, about 90% of Red Dead 2 was full performance capture. The other 10% was probably done in the booth. Uh, a lot of in-game dialogue would been done in the booth. But yeah, it's, it's not that dissimilar from film or TV or theater. You know, we would get our sides, our lines, a couple of weeks in advance. We would rehearse, we'd act out the scenes with our colleagues and the directors and the animators. And, you know, it, the sets were dimensionally accurate. And there would often be just pipes and scaffolding. And then the animators would show us a computer monitor, and then we'd actually see what it looked like in game. I love performance capture. It's such a fascinating medium, and I've been working at it a while now. And seeing the technology advance, it's just so so quick. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! And the freedoms that it affords to performers now—it's just really, really exciting. And you see now, more and more film is using it. You know, yep. wait till Avatar comes out. That's oh, going to be insane. Yeah, so with that, uh, do you find it hard at all to yeah. kind of imagine it from the set? Or what's it like? It was hard at first, but that's like what I said earlier, the animators were so helpful. Because anytime we had a question, like, cause we, like and we knew what the set looked like, but we didn't know whether it was day or night, we didn't know if it was hot or cold, and then when they showed us what the in game footage looked like, and we were able to actually understand what our environment was, that was invaluable, you know? That's that really allowed us to put in the little details, you know, like, oh, this is in the Sands and East Swamplands, okay, so we're probably going to be, we might be going to swap the odd fly away, you know, oh, we're up in Amparino now, well, let's get the ankle weights so that it looks like we're trudging through snow a little bit more, so all those little details that we have to think of and take into consideration, I really, I like to think that it helps with the react, the immersiveness of the video game. It was all beautifully well done. Do you have a favorite moment from doing the motion capture? There's so many, but I, a lot, one that I really enjoyed is this. It's not a pivotal part of the story at all, but there's a bit very early on where you can go fishing with Dutch and Jose, just two of the main characters. Two of them, that one's the leader of the gang, and the other one's kind of the father figure of it. And you're fishing, and we were singing some songs, you know, and by that point, we, by the time we filmed it, we were about four years into the project. I worked on it for five years. It took five years to do the film. But rehearsing the songs with those actors at that time, we had been working together for soon, four years by that point. It was really special. That was really nice. Have you played as yourself? I have. I'm on my second playthrough. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, hard. The first one, first playthrough, I got about 65 hours in. But I haven't 100% of it. I'm not as good as some people. It takes time. 
Yeah, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to leave the last month. You didn't mention anything. I want to go over plug anything, talk about something. Well, like I said before, it's such a privilege for me to be able to come to these cons. This is like, I've been to about 10 fan I don't know, maybe not 10, maybe half a dozen fan expos now. It's always a pleasure. I do, I narrate a lot of audio books. You can catch me on social media. I've got a few projects coming up. Some short films, some features. Uh, follow my social media on Twitter and Instagram for details of what's coming up next. Some things I can't talk about, though. You'll find out about it soon. Thank you so much for your time. And I guess to sneak one little thing in, does Rockstar ask for anything more, or...? You know, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Ooh. We'd have to delete the footage. <laughs> All I know is Rockstar, they keep delivering quality, you know? If they ever called again, I would pick up the phone. Thank you. All the best, sir.